My name is Max Maven, and for the next few moments, you're mine. Together, we are going to explore some of the mysteries of the human mind. The human mind is a fascinating thing. Most people have one. And I'm going to involve this panel of four people from the studio audience in some games of mind-to-mind -mind contact. I've traveled a great distance to be here with you this evening because I make my home in Hollywood, California. And I live there for a very particular reason. This is absolutely true. You see, Hollywood is the only city in the world where I look normal. <laughs> Have you noticed? Well, I'm going to use that particular subject of travel as my first endeavor because I've brought with me an atlas. This is an atlas of the world running about 50 pages. On each page, there are maps of different countries, hundreds of them, with thousands of cities represented from around the world. The very first person to get involved in this endeavor is going to be the young lady sitting right over here. What is your name, please? Dallas. That's correct. <laughs> See how easy this is? Dallas, well, you've got the name of a city, so you seem perfectly fit to be in this particular test. I'm going to hand the atlas over to you, and I'm going to turn my back on you. It's not that I don't like you, it's that I don't want to see what you're going to do, because I want you to open the atlas up anywhere you like, and look at a city, and remember it. Now, you're looking at more than one, correct? Correct. You can change your mind if you like, open to another page, the choice is yours. When you've got your mind made up, close the book, put it on your lap. Have you finished? Yes, I have. Good. Your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. Creative answer. Andrew, do you and Dallas know each other? Uh, well, this could be the start of a whole new relationship. Would you pass the uh, atlas over to the gentleman? Andrew, I'm going to turn my back. I'll snap my fingers. Again, the book is opened to any location and a city remembered. Have you got one in mind? Yes. Terrific. Close the book. At this point, you are thinking of a location somewhere, near or far, the choice was yours. Obviously, my task is to attempt to connect with these two participants and find out where they have in mind to go. Andrew, would you stand up right where you are? I'd like you, first and foremost, to start making some assessment in your own mind as to the proximity of this location. And I'm going to try to gauge how near or far it is. I would like to point out this is a difficult matter because as I'm from the U.S., my sense of proximity to these various locations is different than Andrew's, who is based here, I assume, in England. Uh, I'm going to try it nevertheless. Look right here. Uh, I'm getting a sense of, of, in fact, significant distance from you. Uh, I would say we are outside of this country, outside of England. Is that correct? We are not. Okay, then I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. Would you stand up, Dallas, right now? Look at me. Uh, all right much greater distance in your case. We are not only outside of England, we are, I mean, we are outside of England, but I think we are also outside of Europe. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, you've done something, now this is interesting. Different people approach this differently. Some people make visual imagery, some people make uh, words in their minds. You have chosen to do a combination of both, but you are a labeler. I get those frequently. You have made a title across the bottom of your picture. <coughs> correct. That's not what you did. You instead focused on a very specific picture, mm -hmm. and it's a close-up isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have a picture in mind. It's outdoors, I believe, but it is, but it's a close view. It's not a panoramic view of a, of a cityscape. It's a, it's a close view of one particular location. Is that correct? Yes. 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 All right. Look at me. In your mind, you have an outdoor view as well, but it's, I think, a bit wider than what the gentleman has, because what you have in mind is a structure with several more around it. Is that correct? We are talking outdoors. We are talking uh, uh, daytime, but I think later in the day. I think we're talking dusk. Is that correct? That's right. The reason, yes, because I got a sense from you of a deep uh, hue to the sky, uh, a, and also a deep hue to the objects around. I think we've got a, a, there's a purplish color in your in your picture. Is that correct? That's correct. Is it uh, a, a dark purple? There's also a pink somewhere. Uh, I think a little higher up than the purple. Sort of a pink uh, trim right about here. Yeah. Purple down below. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Uh, on your situation, we are talking different color schemes entirely. It is outdoors, it is daytime, but the color involved is a sort of reddish brown. Is that correct? Yes? Uh, we are talking some, some trim here as well. But unlike the young lady who had these bright colors, your trim is more of a sort of cream color. Is that correct? Yes. A, a sort of tan or cream in that, in that general range. Am I correct? Yes, 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 yes you are. All right. Uh, in making this label in your mind, I'm getting a, a, a letter O, is that correct? Right. Yes. Uh, a fairly long word, I think. 
uh, longer than three or four letters, maybe five, is that correct? correct. Yes. Uh, in your mind, now that I've started talking to her about labeling, you did put the label in, but it was a belated effort, is that correct? We are talking, uh, you just recently put the label in, it's there now, so I'll try and tell you that you also have an O in your word, is that correct? Uh, in fact, I have a sense that I know where you have in mind to go. I think you've made it very easy for yourself as an imaginary traveler. You, on the other hand, it's a bit more complex, but I'm going to tell these two travelers where they have in mind to go, or at least where I think they have in mind to go. And if I'm wrong, you have no need to protect me. If I'm wrong, be honest and say so. But if I'm right, so that everyone knows immediately, all you have to do is to sit down again. Fair enough? If I tell you the name of your city, simply take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, two participants with two imaginary destinations, two thoughts. You have elected to stay close at home in London. That's only one, because this young lady is going much farther away to Tokyo. Thank you so much.